there's a place I'll always cherish Neath the blue Atlantic skies Where the shores down in Cape Breton Bids the golden sun to rise And the fragrance of the apple blossoms Prays the dew kiss long Back in dear old Nova Scotia A place where I... Hey guys, welcome back to All Outdoors Nova Scotia I'm your host Robert um, I know it's been a bit since my last video But... I got some new stuff and I wanted to show you. Um, you all remember me mentioning before about a dart and bow that uh, my friend Tim gave me. He used to have his channel um, Hunting 902 and well he gave me that dart and bow. Well I had it checked out by a uh, dealer and uh, he didn't believe that the cables were good enough to, to make it safe to fire um, and there's no replacement cables available anymore due to the age of the bow. So I had to scrap that idea. Um, another friend of mine's mother was selling an older, and I mean much older, um, PSE uh, and I got it for a real good deal um, so I bought it um, I don't know anything about it. I can't find much about it online. So if anybody's watching this and knows any history on these bows, please let me know. But it's a PSE Phaser Flight. Um, as you can see, it's right here. Um, it says Phaser Flight right here on this shaft or limb here. Um, I took the original site, which is this, off the factory site and put it on a new one that I bought, a Canadian tire, a three pin, uh, and I also took the arrow quiver off the dart and bow and installed it on here. Um, I'm doing away with the factory arrow rest, which is here. And I have bought a new arrow rest that I have to install um, today, actually. And I took the hand loop and weight off the dart and bow, which I installed on this bow. So I've got some unboxing to do today because my arrows finally arrived. And my new... Um, I bought a, air, a new rest, which is a uh, uh, whisker biscuit, so I thought I would show you. They arrived today, so I thought I'd do a little unboxing and show you what I got. So here it is. This is the uh, whisker biscuit I ordered off Amazon. It's plastic. It's cheap. Um, I bought it that way because I need it cheap. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to get going here. This is my first bow, real bow. Like I had when I was really young, my uncle made me a recurve bow, uh, hand carved it with hand carved arrows. And but other than that, I've not. I'm no. I haven't shot a bow in years, um, so I'm going cheap right now to see if I can get used to it, enjoy it, and then get decent with it, and then maybe down the road I'll buy better quality stuff. But I'm going, I, I'm putting this one on. It's nothing fancy, but I'm hoping it will do the job for me. And I also ordered 12 arrows off Amazon. That's these. 12 arrows. I ordered um, 350 grain spine, um, 32 inches long, because my draw length is 31. Um, and they are they came with field points 
or they're supposed to come with field points and ready to go. So let's see. So here they are. They're supposed to be 350 grain spine with 100 grain field point. Um, I just went cheap because for the first while I know I'm going to be breaking arrows, losing arrows. You know, when you're first start out, you you miss the target. You the arrow goes flying. They're hard to find. Uh, we bought Nicholas, our young fella, a little recurve or a compound bow from Canadian Tire here a couple of springs ago, and they're easy to lose you hit the wrong thing and they break I didn't want to spend a ton of money so I bought reasonably priced ones they're they were forty three dollars and ninety nine cents plus taxes free shipping um, so they're not terribly priced but they're not terribly cheap either um, so I'm hoping the mid grade will do exactly what I need them to do for now and that's to practice and get better um, I'll let you know later on when I I'll do a review of the of the whisker biscuit and the arrows after I get a chance to use them but for now I wanted to show you the, the, the new toy I got and some of the stuff um, I've been doing the add-ons myself, I still have to sight it in and everything with the air, with the, now that I've got the arrows, I couldn't until I had arrows. Um, so we'll get this, get it all sighted in. Maybe I'll do a couple videos of, of shooting the arrows and we'll see how they fly. And then I'll do a review on the products after I get to use them some. But uh, for now, thanks for watching. Uh, have a great day. There's a place I'll always cherish neath the blue Atlantic skies Where the shores down in Cape Breton bids the golden sun to rise And the fragrance of the apple blossoms praise the dew kiss long Back in dear old Nova Scotia, a place where I always